Hello everyone, it is Justin here from Lag Free Network, and I am once again back for another edition of the Columbus Blue Jackets BAGM mode. We are jumping back into the season, which hasn't started the best that it could, but hey, it is what it is, and it's still pretty early, so I'm not going to panic too much. Um, I don't believe I got any sort of requests when it comes to the game played, but um, I might have just missed something or not remembering it. Whatever. Because I'm a little tired right now. I've been up all night. So, what we're going to do is we're going to play the Chicago Blackhawks. Let's see if our team makes it there without getting injured. Though I have a feeling that it won't. Um, oh, well, I guess we'll edit the scouting assignment real quick. Might as well do that while we're here. Um, I'm going to go with... Let's go with the dubs. We'll do three weeks of forwards. Alright, moving back to the... Uh, the good old simulation here. We lost against the Sharks. We couldn't score a goal, which is not a good thing, considering how much offense we do have on this team. Um, we lost to New Jersey as well. We obviously have something up with our team right this moment. And I'm not sure exactly what it is. Guys, just not... I mean, they must not be gelling or something, because it's unusual, to say the least. That we're playing as bad as we are. We were able to beat New Jersey. Oh, Cody McCormick on the waivers. No, we don't need him. So yeah, five and eight right now. Let's see if we can beat Edmonton, who's always on the rise on this game because of all their young talent, who has a lot of potential. Um, let's see. We we beat them five to one. Okay. So now we're going into the game with Chicago. They are ten five and one. We are six eight and zero. Oh. I'm going to go ahead and do the usual stuff to set everything up, and I will talk to you all once it's time to drop the puck. See you then. The state capital of Ohio, Columbus, the NHL team of Ohio, the Blue Jackets, and another game about to start here downtown. Greetings, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich, looking forward to a high-scoring contest tonight. Well, at least maybe for one team, Doc, because one team certainly has the ability to fill the net as well as any team in the entire league. Blackhawks coaching staff has them playing a fast-paced, straight-ahead offensive brand of hockey. In order to play this way, you have to know what you are doing with the puck before you get it. Let's look at the starting netminders. Russian-born Sergei Bobrovsky, only 22 when he got his first NHL start, a win in the first game ever played at the new arena in Pittsburgh, and he wore the colors of the Philadelphia Flyers. Corey Crawford is the goalie of choice for this game tonight, native of Chateau Gay, a suburb of Montreal, and grew up watching the legendary Hall of Famer Patrick Waugh in goal, a New Year's Eve baby he was in 1984. All right, we have the matchup, the Blackhawks versus the Blue Jackets with the two captains for this year's All-Star Game going head-to-head -head in Nick Foligno and Jonathan Taves. What a better, you know, matchup to have considering I was at that said All-Star Game this weekend, which was awesome to say the least. The, uh, the Fan Fest was really, really well done. Um, I feel like they brought their A game here to Columbus. Um, I had a good time when I was there. Got a picture of the Stanley Cup, which I have posted on my own Facebook, but I may also post it on the lag free uh, page just because, you know. Might as well share it, right? Ah, oh, Dubinsky was almost there. Um, and then, like, the actual, I went to the skills challenge as well as the game itself as well. So um, that was awesome as well. I enjoyed myself thoroughly. And, uh, you know, I, I would be more than happy to go to another All-Star game if, you know, I, I ended up getting that chance. Oh, yeah, there it is. Goal by Riley Smith. That's what I'm talking about. Walk into the slot and shoot top corner, beating Corey Crawford. That damn sieve, right? <laughs> but, um, yeah, the, the skill challenge is really fun to go to. It was nice to see uh, 
all of that skill on display, like, in person, because, you know, you don't really get as much of a, um, as much of, like, the real feel of it by watching it at home. It's so much better in person. The only drawback is you don't get to hear, like, a lot of the commentary, and, like, you only really get to hear probably half of the interviews that are going on during it, which kind of hurts it because that's part of the charm of it is all these guys, you know, ribbing each other and saying different stuff like that. Um, oh, damn it. thought I was going to have a good opportunity there to pass across. But, um... Whoop, offside. Um, but yeah, the uh, skill challenge was really fun to go to. Ryan Johansson took the honors away in that for the breakaway challenge, which was awesome. Doing the Ohio State thing was pretty cool, even though I'm not a fan myself. Um, and then with the little kid, another really good touch. And then last but not least, the flying V, which any, any kid who was born like 1990 or after, like, so my age basically, or around it at least, they're, they're going to remember those Mighty Ducks movies. And that's going to be one of the fondest memories that they have their entire life probably. Because those movies were just so well done. And, um, you know, that, it was kind of cool to see guys bring that out even though there was six players which is a little weird that's not usually how the v is made it's usually made with the whole uh, you know five because it happens in a real game but whatever i'm still waiting for it to happen in a real game though i'm not gonna lie that would be freaking awesome if, if a team actually does that and then scores a goal or something be like dreams coming true <laughs> felino thank you felino ah I tried to get that well, that pass off. Jamie Morin, one of the one of the Blue Jackets now in real life. Oh, wow! How did he get that pass off? That's what I want to know. Brian Bickle with the goal. Yeah, I, I didn't think the guy was gonna pick up the puck in a slot like he did, and all of a sudden the pass was right on the dude's stick. And Bobrovsky left that five hole wide open. Which, you know, speaking of him, it really sucks that he got injured right before the, the uh, All-Star game. Like, literally the game right before it, he gets injured. That And it doesn't allow him to actually play in the game, which freaking sucks. Because Bobrovsky would have loved that, I'm sure. I'm sh I mean, like, I'm, I'm almost positive that maybe, you know, Joey and Bobrovsky had some things worked out for the... Um, for the, uh, what's it called, the breakaway challenge or something like that as well, you know? Because, I mean, Bobrovsky seems like the type of guy who would do something funny like that. Oh, that was a good save. Um, but yeah, and it sucked for him. I mean, it was a good opportunity. He, he gets to be at the All-Star game, and then it gets taken away from him just like that. So, yeah, that sucks. And it sucks even more. He's going to be out for four to six weeks now. So that that really hurts our opportunity to get back into things. Because as you remember, earlier on in the season when he got injured, that was part of the time when we, uh, we were having a lot of issues trying to win games. Uh, good save. All right, let's go, Riley. Carries it up the side. Nice move to shake on Whoop, that, Oh, that's not a trip? They call that trip on me all the time. Oh, do ya. Lino. That's not where that was supposed to go. Whoop. Teravainen. Guy who had a freaking amazing... He had an amazing, oh my god, really? Just freaking deflection. Teravainen had an amazing uh, World Junior last year. Not not this past year's, but like actual last last year or whatever. <laughs> Keep on yawning. But uh, yeah, he's one of those other guys who's in the Blackhawk system who they just happen to find apparently who's probably going to be a starter for years to come once, you know, he really inserts himself. 
That's no, that's not a good start. I guess getting talking, we just you know forget how to play defense as a team here. I mean, Bobrovsky had you know pretty good stats going into this game, like from playing against the computer with it being simulated a lot. But yeah, so far this game, he's gotten beaten because of the screen and deflection, which makes sense. And then the other one. He just opened his five hole when he shouldn't have. That's all it was. So, all right, Atkinson, up, up to Jenner. Calvert. Nope. <laughs> Wasn't gonna get that. Okay, Murray. Go Jenner. Cruises to the slot. We're in the last minute. Let's see if anything changes. Oh, good oh Jenner. Save. Good try, Jenner. Even to get there and get the shot off. You want to score ah. goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in. Big hit. Taken to the corner by Smith. Gathered in by Tootin. Bulls got it on his stick. All right. Just get that puck out. I don't want anything else to happen at the, at the end of that period there. Because we just... We've been a little slow at times this game so far. We haven't gotten our skating legs under us. And defensively, we haven't been as good as we should. So we've left them a couple opportunities, and they've been able to cash in on both of them, really. So hopefully uh, we'll, we'll do a little better next period. We'll get some things going, put that, that heavy forecheck on them, and get some passes through. Take a look at the stats here. <clears throat> we have two to one on goals, seven to five on shots. They're out shooting us at the moment, out hitting us by one. Time and attack, we are winning. Their passing has been superb, and ours has been pretty dreadful. And they've won one more faceoff than we have. Let's move on to the second period. Ah oh, man. But yeah, the uh, the overall experience for the All Star Weekend was great. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. And if it comes back here to Columbus and I'm still alive. <sighs> had to yawn again. Um, if they come back here to Columbus and I'm still alive, I will be going to that game. Whether I am 65 or 85 or 35 or whatever, you know, I'm going to go. I'm going to go to it because it was that much fun. No matter what, I'm going. Uh, wow. Not blocking any passes right now. Go Kane. Johansson. Johansson. Cut on by with that one. Drives to the net. All right, Evander. To Horton. Gets that pass back again. Fires. Oh. He was going to snipe him there. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Ryan Johansson walking into the slot, shooting around the screen. Picking a corner off of the crossbar or post and into the net. There we go, baby. <laughs> Ryan Johansson. Protect the puck into the slot and boom. Beating the goalie high with everyone in front of the net. <laughs> you can't really blame Crawford for that one, that's for sure. Because he made him bank it off the post as well. <laughs> All right, there we go. We got a tie game to start off that second period. A very good shift for that first line. Oh, Riley. Dubinsky. Good try. Oh, ah. Dubinsky's actually coming into this game at least. Dubinsky was leading the team in points, which is pretty awesome. If I do say so myself. Nice hit. Savard. Oh yeah, there it is. Brandon Dubinsky with the goal. Hell yeah. Nice pass there by Riley Smith to put him in a little bit of space. And that's all Brandon Dubinsky needed to finish it off right then and there. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We obviously came out with, uh, you know, full of piss and vinegar this this uh, period, so. 
quite happy with that. No doubt about that. Great job, dudes. All right. Let's get out there and keep this pressure up. So far, we've had two shifts and two goals. Let's make it three. Calvert. Oh, what a save on Atkinson, who was standing on the doorstep, just waiting. Somehow that gets through, I don't know. Go, Jenner. Oh, Roosevelt, the big hit. That, that, that good old, you know, veteran. Wow. Between the blue lines, it's an odd man rush. It's a three on two. Fires. All right. Good shot attempt. I get off the ice. Ahead to him. Big hit by Murray. To the opposite corner. He pinned him to the glass. And test two to bowl. Right to bowl. To chop. Corral ah. by Duncan Keith. Two on one opportunity. Oh, stick save. Back in front. All right. And he takes it through center ice. Pass to the slot. Punched away. With test two. Fighting for it in front of the net. Oh, big hit. Ah. Why did he turn around? <laughs> It was almost like a half breakaway there for Kane coming in, but luckily Bobrovsky stood tall, cut down the angle, and stopped the sniper, Patty Kane. Let's get this contest. first line going again. It's kind of weird. I think the second line almost so far this game has kind of been acting as the first line. Like they've been getting more of the minutes, at least. Okay. It's like don't don't pick it up then. That's cool. Horton. Ah. Thought he was gonna pick it up a little quicker than that. Oh, that's a big hit. Very very big hit right as he passed the puck. But at least he got the puck off. That's the big thing for Aduya. Playing against the team that he played for last season. And for real in this season I believe as well so turn from one teammate to another he's got that one let's see what happens job clits him and he slides step up slides it to the point to Felino oh yeah there it is up top back down across and then boom into the back of the net by Riley Smith that's a sniper's goal right there on the one timer no doubt about it. I didn't know if they were going to be able to pick that up or not. But once he put that little bit of sauce on it, Felino put it on a silver platter for Riley Smith. And there we go. We are now up by two against the Chicago Blackhawks. We came out guns ablaze in this period. Now we just got to keep it up. Keep that pressure on them and keep on burying them into a bigger hole. Oh, it's breaking through. Ah. Big hit, Savard. Ah. Couldn't, couldn't get across the net there. All right. Dump. Aduya. Vander. Oh. Good opportunity. By Vander Kane. Alright, got it. Wow. That is awful. Somehow, 
Somehow he held on to the puck. I don't I don't know why the hit did nothing at all. Gets it out to the, to the high, high slot. Yeah, see, there, there should have been a hit there, and yet nothing happened. And then Taves just straight up beats him blocker side with a slap shot. Something Bobrovsky should have had, because there really wasn't much of a screen there. You could definitely see where the puck was. He just picked it up far too late and got beat by a good shot, so... That's, you know, that's how the cookie crumbles when it comes to this game, that's for sure. If you get any sort of a screen whatsoever, it's usually a freaking goal. Oh, good opportunity. Good opportunity there. Let's get this over with. Oh, look, zero seconds. <laughs> All right. All right. Up one goal going into the third period. A much better period by us. We kept the pressure on them for the most part. Just like before, though, you know, they get they get a little bit of pressure on us. And for whatever reason, we just kind of fold up. And we can't really keep up with, you know, keep up with keeping that puck out of our net, which is a problem. We need to work on that for sure. Let's take a look at the stats. We got three to four when it comes to the goals. We are now out shooting them by four, so we had a great period on that. We're out hitting them by one, which is another good thing we did. Time and attack, we're still winning on. They're still passing really well, and we are still not passing very well. And they've won one more faceoff than we have. There has been no special teams yet. So let's move into the third period, see if we can close this game out and leave with the win as we try to get our season back on track where it should be which is right up towards the top of the Metropolitan Division because that's where we were last year and all we did was get a little bit better pretty much so there's no reason that we should be worse worse off right now oh man if that wouldn't have hit somebody that would have been in no doubt about it oh big hit Klitsum get some Klitsum baby Ah, Johansson trying to drive to the net. Big hit by Klitsum. Alright, Horton. Oh, what the heck happened there? Why couldn't he shoot? Gains the blue line. Big hit by Johnson. Uh-oh. Ah. Couldn't get that puck over there. That could have possibly been a hat trick for Riley. Right there. Good hit. Back check and hit there by Dubinsky. Oh, Felino. There it is. Goal. That line is still staying red hot this game. I believe that line has scored three of the goals, maybe? Three or four of the goals. It might even be four. <laughs> They're putting it together out there. Okay, yeah, Dubinsky has one, Felino has one, Riley Smith has two. That's four goals that just that line has put together this game. I'm very glad that I ended up switching up the lines a bit putting Horton back in the first line because that second line is now reignited with that youthful exuberance of Riley Smith. Needed that pure sniper on the side, not a power forward, which is what um, Horton is. So, hell yeah, I'll take that. All right, Atkinson. Savard. Oh, big shot. Good save though, and there wasn't really much of a screen either, but he still put a hard shot high up towards the opposite corner, trying to beat the goalie, but just couldn't quite beat him. That's alright though. Oh man. We gotta keep this up though, we gotta keep the pressure on them, keep pushing them back. That way, they because they shouldn't be able to score from their own side. I'm hoping. Though you never know. Hi Murray. Tootin. Trop. Oh. Oh, Trop. 
Stuffs it in. Oh my god, I didn't think that was going to happen. I really didn't even shoot that. I literally just stole the puck without realizing it. Tried to go to the opposite way, and he must have just dragged the puck in through the, the side of the net or like past the goalie's pad. I have no idea what happened with that. Let's see here. Oh, he puts it behind the skate. Just forces it in. He willed it in. That's what a fourth liner does right there. Just willed the puck in. Corey Trop with, I believe, his first goal of the season for that fourth line. A line that doesn't really get a whole lot of offense going. But, hey, they, they do help some. So that's all that matters. They do what they have to. Probably get to the bench there. Boone. Alright, let's go. Ah. Teravinen. Alright, go Atkinson. Ah. Good job. Oduya. The stalwart defensively, man. Ah. Oh, yeah, there it is. The hat trick. The hat trick by Riley Smith. There was a little bit of a screen there. I took advantage of it by just taking a quick wrist shot top corner. Picked the goalie clean. He may not have even seen it. It was so quickly in the back of the net. And that's all it takes right there. A hat trick for Riley Smith. I believe that might be his first as a blue jacket. Hell yeah. I'm so glad I made that trade. Not because Hartnell was bad, but because Hartnell only had probably a good two or three seasons at most at being as good as he is. However, Riley Smith is on the rise. He might even be a first line type guy who ends up being at, you know, 87, 88 overall, something like that. So that's something to definitely keep in mind and, you know, look for in the future. Oh, there's another goal. Johansson with the crazy tip on the side. We're just lighting him up now. Corey Crawford is going to be crying going home right now. Because we just decided to turn on the absolute afterburners when it came to that second period. And ever since then, we've just been a scoring machine. A scoring machine. That's what I'm talking about, guys. See if we could just do this every game like we should be able to with the offense we have. I mean, there isn't a whole lot of teams that, that could beat us, but when you look at so many of those games being simulated as like, you know, a 2-0 defeat or like, you know, 3-0 or even one nothing defeats, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of sad because obviously the goalie's playing pretty well. It's just that we can't get any offense started, you know, which is, oh, big hit. Boop, boop. <laughs> All right, Bowler. Jared Bull. Oh, good try. You want to fight, bro? Uh-oh, we're going to fight. Corey Trop. Brandon Sad. Oh. Oh, come on, there it is. Take that, Brandon Sad. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, Tropper. We're, we're sending a message for the next time these two teams meet. That is for sure. He wanted to fight, so when he said he wanted to fight, I said, let's go. Let's make this happen, baby. That's exactly what we did. I was kind of expecting Bull to fight, though. That's what I was trying to go for. So, it is what it is, though. We still want to fight, and it wasn't even our best fighter. How about that? Oh, yeah, there it is. Another goal. There's Ryan Murray. Johansson gets the assist for just winning the faceoff. That's all he needed. Hell, yeah. Lighten them up. 
I think it might be time for them to switch goalies if they haven't already. I couldn't tell after the uh, last goal if they did. Nope. Crawford is still in there getting lit up. That's nine goals, people. It looks like the All-Star game all over again. Except 29 goals might be a little hard to get to for both teams in an actual NHL game where two teams are actually trying to play defense because, yeah, the All-Star game, it's all about being fancy and stuff. And There's so many times where you're just like, shoot the puck, but then you realize, wait, if they shoot the puck, they're just kind of dumb because it's not like anyone's really playing much defense anyway, right? Oop. Oh, oh, Kane. Johansson. Oh, there's another one. Hat trick. Another hat trick. There's 10 goals, but at least that was the backup goaltender, it looks like. So I have no idea who that is. It doesn't look like that's Ronta or anything like that. I'd have to see the, uh, the the old back of his jersey or look at the stats after the fact and see who is in goal for them. Uh, Nabokov, really? Evgeny Nabokov, letting in a pooter little goal like that. That is not a good way to come into the game. That is for sure. We're just lighting them up. Take that, Blackhawks. Take that, you and your freaking five players in the all-star game and stuff <laughs> nope. Nope. oh hi Felino oh good try Nikki fell Nikki fell oh Felino Ah, tried to just force it in there. Thought he had just enough room to stay away from that poke check, but not quite. Up the wing. All right, Calvert, chase him. Corralled by Shaw. Splits him. He could start some danger here. Jenner. Flip to the opposite corner. Rock to the glass. Superb defensive play by Seabrook. Slid to Oop. Keith. Decides on What's the he doing? Behind. Handed right back to Seabrook. Takes it. All right. What a what a goal scoring spree. Nine goals in the second and third period combined. What an offensive explosion by the Blue Jackets. As we decided that hey. You know what? Instead of having these, you know, zero goal games or one or two goal games, no, we're going to break it open and score 10 freaking goals. Are you tired of hearing the goal horn by now? Because, I mean, to be honest, I know I personally am going to be quite tired editing all of those in. But, of course, you guys won't know that until after the fact, after you've heard it 10 times, because now I'm saying it. Whew! Man, what a game. Go to the box score. Can take a look at the breakdown there. We had six goals in the third period. Holy cow. Take a look at the home stats where the Blue Jackets lit it up. Three points for Dubinsky, three for Felino, three for Horton, four for Johansson, um, two for Kane, three for Murray, five points for Riley Smith, a hell of a game, plus five for Fetter Tootin and Ryan Murray as a pairing, which was great to say the least. Take a look at Bobrovsky, not the best save percentage, but he only faced 11 shots, so whatever, we'll give him a pass on that. Take a look at the away stats. Not so good on theirs. Jalmerson, minus four. Letty, minus four. Seabrook, minus four. A lot of minuses, but you can't really blame them because they gave up 10 goals. Nabokov, not looking good with his 15.45 goals against average, whatever. He did make one save out of two shots, though. That's good. Crawford, even worse save percentage of Bobrovsky, so I don't feel so bad. Um, let's take a look at the three stars of the game. Riley Smith, Ryan Johansson, and Ryan Murray. Look at all those R first names, right? Let's go to the hub. What we're going to do is we're going to simulate the last game of this week, which I believe is against the Buffalo Sabres, which will set us up for doing a game in the next within the next two weeks of game time, obviously. Um, and maybe this time I won't actually take like 
a full week to have to do another video. Things were just a little busy last week with, you know, all-star game prep and everything else with work. So, you know, you have to understand that kind of stuff. Oh, man. Let's, let's get through this Buffalo game here. We'll simulate up to the Vancouver game and uh, go from there pretty much. Let's see here. Let's see if we can start a little win streak here. We have two wins in a row. Maybe a third would, you know, get us going in the right direction. Maybe. Possibly. Perhaps. I don't know. And, yeah, there we go. Three-game win streak. Five goals, ten goals, and five goals. We're starting to get that offense clicking now. And now we're 8-8, eight and eight, which is much better than where we were. As always, we're going to play one game during the next two weeks of game time. We're going to play Vancouver, Minnesota, San Jose, Dallas, Montreal, and Washington twice. So if there's a certain one of those teams that you would like to see me play, make sure you let me know in the comments down below or on Twitter or on Facebook, wherever you find the video and enjoy it. Um, let me know because I appreciate all of your guys' input. I really do. So as you can see, we are now sixth in the Metro, going in the right direction after a rough start. And hopefully, we'll continue to move in the right direction after, you know, the next few weeks. So, as usual, I appreciate all of you guys as fans and everything else. We are now over 3,000 views when it comes to all of our videos together on the channel which is awesome it means people are getting eyes on it which is very important um, we're up to 34 subscribers as of this morning which is also awesome um, I appreciate every single one of you guys even if you're not watching every single video at least you're you're basically putting in the effort to try to see what we have here I really want to do more I have a webcam now so I can do some stuff with that as well maybe like a vlog every now and then um, and there's just a lot of stuff in the pipeline that I want to do. I just haven't had the time or the money to be able to do those things. However, hopefully it will be done very soon. We'll just have to see about it though. So as usual, I appreciate you all and I will see you all next time when we fire the cannon. Goodbye.